Today we're going to take you on a tour of not one, but two of the most asked about master plan communities here in San Diego. And they're actually located right next to each other. It's going to be 4S Ranch in Del Sur. And if you're looking for the full package, I'm talking everything, walkability, shopping, top rated schools, parks, literally everywhere in some really, really gorgeous homes, then you're definitely going to want to stick around. Welcome back. If this is your first time here and you like to know more about San Diego real estate and what life is like living here in San Diego, make sure you tap that subscribe button below. My name is Nick and you guys are reaching out all the time and we absolutely love helping you out. So if you're thinking about making a move in a week, a month, a year, make sure you shoot us a text, shoot us an email or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a lot of time and just help you make a smooth move here to San Diego. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to do a full tour of both 4S Ranch and Del Sur. I just want to break it down for you guys, talk about some of the little differences, show you some of these houses, talk about it, and, you know, just show you what life is actually like living here if you're really considering making a move. Now, I wish I had some better weather for you because today flat out kind of sucks. And it's very interesting because it's mid-afternoon and it's completely ghost town here, which is pretty darn weird but anyways you're gonna have about 75 home 7500 homes throughout uh 4s ranch in del sur now you're gonna have a good amount of schools as well and you're also going to have plenty of shopping so we're gonna dive into all this but my complete favorite thing is going to be the parks you literally have parks outside of almost every single neighborhood some have dog parks some have pools some have I mean, just in the, the south of Forest Ranch, you have a giant sports park where you have a roller skate rink. You have a ton of baseball fields, soccer fields. You have a ton of stuff to really utilize and go outdoors and do all that. And the best part is you can just walk out your front door. So you have the biggest thing that people ask for is, Nick, I want somewhere that has some really good walkability. This place is very clean. You can see when you're driving around, it's very well maintained. And you have some really mature trees because it's a master plan community. Well, both are, and they started construction right in the 2000s. So you'll see a lot of these homes were either built in the early 2000s, 2005, all the way up to about 2015. So those that's some newer construction for San Diego. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for a place with newer homes, some really gorgeous homes. I mean, a lot of these are very well taken care of. Some are updated from even when they were constructed and they have some really, really nice design so I think you're gonna be pretty excited from what you see today and kind of what you learn but overall I just want to help you figure out if 4s ranch or Del Sur is the right place for you all right so first area I want to break down for you guys and talk a little bit about show you around is going to be Del Sur now I'm in Del Sur as we speak I wish we had some better weather today but hey these are the cards we are dealt but there isn't a whole lot of difference between 4s ranch and in Del Sur. Now there is about three, maybe four differentiators that I want to break down and talk to you about. So first we'll start with Del Sur and then we'll head over to 4S Ranch and I'll show you around and talk about some of the stuff over there. But first is going to be the shopping. Now shopping is going to be very important, obviously, and you're going to have your own town center here in Del Sur. So you have the Del Sur town center and you have pretty much everything in my opinion that you could ever possibly need. You have a Target, you're going to have a Sprouts, you have an Orange Theory if you want to get your workout on. You also have a, quite a bit of dining options too. So you have a sushi restaurant, you got a Chick-fil-A, you got a Mexican restaurant. You also have my favorite, which is going to be Board and Brew. Baja chicken sandwich, whoo, making me hungry. You also have a smoothie shop in there too. So you're going to have some options and pretty much, like I said, everything you can need is going to be about a two maybe three minute drive. You could probably walk there from your house too, which is pretty darn nice because you got some decent walkability in here. Now, second is going to be the schools. You're obviously gonna have different schools in here than you do over in Forest Ranch. So over here, you're gonna have Del Norte uh, High School. You're also gonna have the Del Sur Elementary and you're gonna have Design 39, which is a K through eight award winning. So do your research on schools. Make sure you wanna figure out where you want your kids to go. Now, the next thing I wanna break down is the parks. You have a ton of pocket parks like I'm at right here uh, throughout Del Sur. So you have about 14. So it's really easy to just walk outside of your house no matter where you're at, take your dog for a walk, get the kids outside, bring them to the park and do all that stuff. Not to mention you have about 11 solar heated pools. These are all private, they're gated. And unless you live in here or you know somebody that lives in here, you're not gonna have that key card that's gonna get you in 
to these pools. So some of these pools too have some really amazing views. So you'll probably get very familiar which, which one you like the best. And if one's too crowded, guess what? You got 10 more to choose from. Now, the next thing I really wanna break down that's gonna be really important is going to be the housing over here. So over here, you're gonna have about 2,500 homes. And right now, there is not a lot available. And there never really is, so kind of expect that, like depending on what the market's doing, there's never a lot of inventory in both of these areas, Forest Ranch or Del Sur. It's a very desired area, so houses go really, really, really quick. Now, one thing I will say is you will have options between townhomes and detached homes. Your townhomes are gonna start right around a million, and then your detached options are gonna start opening up right at about 1.3, 1.4 million. You're really gonna start to see some detached homes, some really, really beautiful homes too. Now, the sizes are going to range anywhere from about 1,500 square feet all the way up to close to 4,000 square feet. You have some really beautiful estates in here, but houses can really go up to about 3 million over here in Del Sur. And it's kind of a different type of architecture. You're gonna have kind of a choice depending on what you want. You have some of these homes that there's no garage in the front, so it's alley access for the garage, which a lot of people like for curb appeal reasons, but you're also gonna have your traditional, you know, two car garage right in front of the house. So have your options in here. And I'll say with Del Sur, one thing is you'll have more trails and things like that, more access to biking trails and things like that over here. And you'll also have some houses that have some really, really good canyon views. So if that's what you're looking for, you're probably gonna have a little bit more luxury when you're looking in Del Sur. So just keep that in mind. You'll have slimmer options, but you'll have more luxury and some really, really gorgeous homes. And you'll have all those pools and parks and all that stuff. So let's drive around this area to show you what it's like, and then we'll head off to 4S. Okay. Now we just got over to 4S Ranch and it was literally a five minute drive. So it's not far at all. And what do you know, here I am in another neighborhood at another park. Who would have thought? You're gonna have a little less parks over here in 4S Ranch. I would say the parks are gonna be a little bit bigger over here. You have some big ones like Heritage Park. You also have Patriot Park. So these parks are a little bit bigger than the ones over in Del Sur. Those are more like pocket sized and things like that. Now, one thing I wanna talk about real quick is the shopping. So over here, you have a completely different shopping center and it's gonna be called the 4S Commons. Now, this one is a bit better in my opinion because you just have way more options. You have a world market over there. You have a, a hardware store, Ace Hardware. You have a Jimbo's, which, which is kind of like similar to a Sprouts and a Whole Foods. And you have a lot more options for dining and food and things like that. So. Once again, even if you live in Del Sur, it's only going to be a five minute drive to go to that shopping center. But if you want to be closer and have some walkability maybe to it, then maybe Forest Ranch is going to be a little bit better for you. Also, one other thing I want to say about hiking is I know I said Del Sur has a lot of trails, which it does. It has more than Forest Ranch, but behind me, it's just too foggy today. But behind me up on those mountains, that's going to be Black Mountain where you have a ton of bike trails if you like mountain biking or if you just want to get up there and go hike. So really close, another five, 10 minute drive. Now we covered some of the basics that I wanted to cover on some of the differences, but now let's talk a little bit about the houses over here. So price point is gonna be a little bit better over here. What I mean by that is it's gonna be a little less expensive and you'll still have some really, really good amenities. Now Del Sur, a little bit more luxurious. Now you do have some very luxurious homes and areas in here just a little less. You have about 5,000 homes over here. So that's about double the size of Del Sur. So you're gonna always have more options. So maybe keep your options open to both of them because you're gonna have more houses to look at over here. So just keep that in mind. Price point is going to be less. Sorry, I didn't cover the prices, but the prices are gonna be less over here. You can find one bedroom condos starting at 450,000. You can find more townhomes going up to a million eight hundred fifty thousand. So you're going to have some great options if, if you don't have that million dollar budget, you can still break in and get a townhome over here for less than a million and be in these great schools and have all these great amenities and walkability. So it is possible, but then again, 
your detached options aren't gonna start opening up till about 1.2, 1 point, probably 1.2, 1.3 million dollars. That's when you're gonna see your single family detached homes and they will go well into the two millions. Same thing with size, anything from about 1,500,000 000, all the way up to 4,000 square feet. So bigger homes again. So it just depends on what you really, really like and what you favor and all that stuff. But the walkability, you can't go wrong anywhere. You'll see kids walking to school all the time. Uh, they meet up with their buddies and can walk to whatever school they go to. So makes it easy on the parents for carpooling and all that stuff. So huge added bonus. So just keep that stuff in mind. And what do you guys think? Do you like Forest Ranch? Do you like this master plan community feel? Do you live here now? What do you like? Anyways, let me know and always, always, always be sure to reach out if you have any questions because that's what we're here for. And we have tons of videos just like these two right here that will probably be really, really helpful for your in your endeavor. So make sure you check those out.